Valentine's Day is all about love and putting the time in for the most important people in your life, such as yourself, via the medium of my two favorite things, gaming and food. Food, of course, being important to fuel your gaming and also enhance it through sensory seduction. Skillful gamers can even do both at the same time. Different foods and different games will pair differently, as any foodie would tell you about pairings. Soup is perhaps the ultimate, the most prestigious food to eat while doing something else. It's also the most romantic food, because it's other food mixed together into a liquid, and that's just how love is. As such, here's some great games you can pair with some great soups for this Valentine's Day, and any other day you want to make extra special. Having just released on Steam, there's never been a better time to eat soup alone while playing Mobius Final Fantasy. It might be turn-based, but what's especially useful here is Mobius's extremely competent auto mode. At times, good old Wall knows what he's doing in the battles way more than I ever could. I can feel perfectly at ease letting the game play itself as I watch on, sipping on some cream of chicken soup, because no matter how hard you wish it to be true, chocobos just aren't real. Mobius Final Fantasy just about edged out Fire Emblem Heroes, which might do the job, but the AI on auto mode just isn't quite as good, and I don't feel quite comfortable enough eating soup while playing it. What's better than truly and luxuriously treating yourself with a lovely romantic visual novel alone on Valentine's Day? Pigeons are unarguably the most romantic animals, definitely as far as the bird family is concerned anyway. All it takes is one touch on a mouse or keyboard to progress through the story in this visual novel, leaving you plenty of room to enjoy a nice, warming pigeon soup on a cold, solitary evening such as perhaps this Valentine's Day. It's the perfect pairing, really. Ultimately, the true testament of love, as I've always said, is whether or not you can consume it, or whether or not you'd be willing to consume it. The Aloha region is based on Hawaii, not only a great romantic holiday destination, but also a great foodie hotspot. Now, thanks to the magic of Pokemon and Nintendo, you can combine both at once from the comfort of your own home and with a lovely little Pokemon twist. As it's a turn-based, slow-paced game, you can take it as slow as you need while tucking into your noodle soup. For best results, I'd suggest eating at a table or a desk or something and laying your 3DS flat in front of you with the screen raised, reaching over to adjust the cursor in battles when necessary so as to avoid accidentally spilling soup onto your 3DS screen. Once stained, it's actually quite difficult to unstain a 3DS. Just, just trust me on this one. Be extra careful. <laughs> Eating soup while playing an action-packed brawler like Yakuza? I hear you cry. I shake my head. It's clear you are not a true Yakuza fan. Yes, Yakuza is one of the best action series in the entire world, but that's hardly all there is to it. Every Yakuza game is soup packed with a huge amount of fantastically written story. Next time you have a series of cutscenes coming up, it's the perfect time to crack open your soup can, pour it into a microwavable container, wait for a few minutes for it to heat up, wait for a few minutes for it to cool down, and then get slurping while you enjoy some of Yakuza's superlative story cutscenes. For an authentic experience, you need to pair it with Japanese soup, such as miso, or potentially ramen if you want to get noodly down there. A lot of people say that Mario Party is one of the most fun multiplayer experiences out there. A lot of people are also wrong though. Mario Party is one of those games best experienced solo, alone in your room, while eating soup on Valentine's Day. Yes, there are some intense high octane mini games, but these all have lengthy gaps between them where you're welcome to dine on your soupy treat as you please. In fact, playing with these short breaks in mind may actually aid with digestion, meaning that eating soup while playing Mario Party is almost certainly healthier than eating soup without playing Mario Party. Take note, new scientist, 
Mario Party just about managed to knock WarioWare off the list as the definitive eating soup between mini games entry on this list. Like it or soup would lumps it, WarioWare is just a little bit too energetic for the perfect solitary soup excursion. For all but true soup experts, a WarioWare soup session is bound to only end in tears. So that's our list of the top 5 games to play while eating soup alone on Valentine's Day. I'm sure we missed some games which would be pretty good to play while eating soup alone on Valentine's Day, so if you have any thoughts or suggestions as to games that you personally like to play while eating soup alone on Valentine's Day, then be sure to let us know in the comments. I hope you all have a tasty, tasty evening. Thanks for, thanks for checking it out.